Hello YouTube and welcome to another SQLite tutorial. In this video, I will show you how actually you can compare SQLite databases and see the difference between them. So, already, let's get started. So here on my desktop, I have two databases, School 1 and School 2, as you can see here. So I have attached these two databases to SQLite so I can work with them at the same time. So if you don't know how, you can see my previous video when I showed you how you can work with uh, multiple databases at the same time. So if I execute the command databases here, so you can see actually I have here two databases, school one and school two. And let's see the tables. So they both had uh, department, students and test tables. So for example, let's display the content of uh, the student table from school one. So it's simple, select statements, select all from school one dot students. Okay, so you can see here that uh, the students table from school one has only three records or three rows. Let's see the same thing with school two. Okay, so actually I have the same columns. The only difference is that school two actually table has 11 rows. So I can actually know that before using a utility that comes actually with SQLite package. So I will quit here from SQLite and I will use a utility called SQL diff. Okay, so I will provide the name of my database one, which is school one. DB and the name of the second databases or database which is school 2. So what this command actually will do it will output a script that actually will allow school 1 to be the same as school 2. So from the output here I see that school 1 only has three records while school 2 has or the table students actually has 11 rows so here this sql diff will actually show us a script a sql script that is actually just a simple inserts because it we need actually a total of eight inserts in order to be the same as the students table from school 2 so i will execute this comment here and here we go, as you can see, in order for the table from school 1 to be like the table from school 2, all I have to do is to insert these statements here. Okay, so I can do the inverse. So this time I will compare school 2 with school 1. So school 2 or the table students from school 2 has more records as the table from school one so i will get only some delete statements so it will delete all these records in order just to have three records so i'll execute this uh, command now and in fact there is just some uh, delete statements in order for the students table from school two to be like the one on school one okay so it's a very nice utility that you can use if you want to compare or display the differences between these two databases, okay? I can even show us the schema difference between these two tables. So for example, let's collect to SQLite uh, to the database school 2, okay? .tp. So this time I will try just to alter the table students okay so I will alter this table by adding a column 
So for example, I can execute the statement here, alter table students. I will add a column. Let's just call it the comment. Okay. And the type is text, just simply text. Here we go. We have execute this comment here. So now I have a column that exists in student table on uh, school two, but doesn't exist actually on school one. So if I quit this time, and let's execute this same query here or same command utility, but this time in order to see the schema differences between these two databases, I will use the option minus minus schema. Okay. And here you can see actually the SQL statement that is responsible for changing schema from table one. Okay. So in order for the, the student's table from school one to be like the same table for school two, I have to alter students on school one by adding a column named comments. So it's a very handy utility that is always useful if you want to compare two databases and uh, if you want to match them. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye-bye.